Hello and welcome to the Lake Powell and Glen Canyon Dam update for September 2024. The water level at America's second largest reservoir is 3,580 feet 4 inches above mean sea level. That's a decrease of 1 foot 10 inches from last month's Lake Powell update. The current water elevation is 90 feet above minimum power pool and 119 feet below the full pool elevation. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. Major repairs have started on Glen Canyon Dam's river outlet works. Lake Powell's water level continues to decline, and the Charles Hall Ferry has been shut down yet again. Hey folks, there's a lot to discuss today, but before we get started, please hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. Back in April 2024, the Bureau of Reclamation announced that some major damage had been discovered in the River Outlet Works pipes at the Glen Canyon Dam. The damage was discovered after operating the outlets at low reservoir levels during a high flow experiment in April of 2023. At that time, I released a video that outlines the damage of its impact on the Colorado River's operations. And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one so you can check it out if you want more details on exactly how the river outlet works was damaged and what the impact is. Well, this week, Reclamation announced that lining of the river outlet works at the Glen Canyon Dam is finally underway. The project will reline all four outlet pipes and take about one year to complete. And this work is meant to ensure efficient and reliable water deliveries for future generations. However, Reclamation said that the dam's infrastructure and its ability to, to deliver water downstream during this maintenance is not at risk. The outlets, also referred to as bypass tubes, consist of four steel pipes that move water from Lake Powell directly downstream into the Colorado River. This bypasses the hydropower generating units. The original coal tar coating that covers the inside of the outlets is more than 60 years old and is showing normal signs of wear and tear and is due for replacement. The original lining was brushed on by hand with spot repairs completed as needed over the years. The project includes removing that old lining and replacing it with an epoxy primer and polysilicone top coat, which will be applied using a robotic sprayer. This lining system has been extensively studied in laboratory tests and successfully applied to numerous places of infrastructure, including in Fontana Dam in North Carolina, Pineview Dam in Utah, and the huge Grand Coulee Dam in Washington. The Glen Canyon Dam's river outlet works have been used sparingly. Water is almost always conveyed through the penstocks to produce hydropower before it's released back into the Colorado River. The river outlet works are intended to be used when the power plant is unavailable or to release water when it exceeds the capacity of the power plant. But with lower lake levels, the outlets could be used more frequently as experienced recently with the cool mix flows, which releases water from both the penstocks and the river outlet works to send cooler water downstream to disrupt the spawning of non-native fish below the dam. The Bureau of Reclamation recently found some major cavitation damage after operating the river outlet works at low reservoir levels during a high flow experiment in April of 2023. Now, relining the river outlet works will extend the life of those pipes and protect it from future damage, but not future uh, cavitation from these high flow experiments. To prevent cavitation, they have rewritten the operations of, of, of how they're going to use these river outlet works. They're going to release water with a lower pressure or, or lower volume of water through the river outlet works, and that should prevent future cavitation between that and this new epoxy. So more information on this story will be coming out over the next few weeks as we go through the process, and I'll be sure to include updates in my monthly Lake Powell videos. Now let's get on to the Lake Powell statistics. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year, which began on October 1st, 2023. With the water year nearing its end, let's take a look back at how things have unfolded over the whole year. The water year started with Lake Powell's water level on a steady decline. This is typical behavior for the winter season. 
the water that would normally run into Lake Powell is locked up in the form of snow and ice. And while less water is flowing into the lake, water still needs to be released to generate power and to meet downstream water demands. In mid-April, the water level reversed course and started to increase at a rate of 1.6 inches per day. Then, on May 21st, that rate of increase jumped to over 7 inches per day. The water level reached its peak for the year on July 10th, with an elevation of 3,587 feet 2 inches. That was the highest water level at Lake Powell since December of 2022. Since July 10th, the water level has been declining. Again, this is typical behavior for summer months. There is less water flowing into the lake, while demand for hydropower is increased due to the heat. The water level is currently 3,580 feet 4 inches, and will most likely continue to decline for the next several weeks. This is a chart of the inflows to Lake Powell for the 2024 water year. From the beginning of the water year to mid-April, inflows remained under 20,000 acre feet per day. Then in mid-April, inflows started to increase above 20,000 acre feet per day due to some rainstorms and early snowmelt. On May 21st, inflows jumped to over 50,000 acre feet per day and remained at that level until the end of June. In early July, inflows dropped significantly to around 15,000 acre feet per day, where it remains today. Here is a chart of outflows from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam. Outflows from the Glen Canyon Dam do not fluctuate like inflows do. Outflows are heavily regulated and predetermined by various laws and agreements to meet the demands of downstream users. For the month of August, 760,000 acre feet was released from Lake Powell. In September, 568,000 acre feet of water is scheduled to be released. That's a huge reduction. These numbers are troughs, I'm sorry, these dips or troughs represent the lower volume of water that is released on weekends when power demand is reduced. Dam operators are currently releasing water at a rate of about 15 to 20,000 acre feet per day. The current elevation of 3,580 feet 4 inches is 60 feet below the historical average for this date. Lake Powell's record high water level was set on July 14, 1983 at just over 3,708 feet. The current water level is 61 feet above the record low for Lake Powell that was set on April 13, 2023 at 3,519 feet. The last two winter seasons and the resulting snowmelt runoff have offered some relief to the historically low water levels of 2022. However, Lake Powell's reservoir is still only 38% of its full pool capacity. Back in the July Lake Powell update, I reported that the Charles Hall Ferry had resumed operations after being shut down since July 2021 due to low water levels. Unfortunately, the Charles Hall Ferry is back out of service again, but this time it's due to a mechanical issue and report, or repairs were only initially expected to take a few weeks, but now the Department of Transportation has extended that into late September. So before you visit the ferry, definitely check out the latest status of the ferry at the Department of Transportation's website. I've included a link to that website in the video description. Hey guys, that's all I have for this week. I'll be back with another video in two weeks. I'm taking the week off. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I definitely appreciate your support.